to we're going to be there anyway. Do it for me, he says. That's me. And I, I love Marty Lazare. He's a great friend. He's been such a good guy, a good man for me, good, 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 real good friend. He's a terrific lawyer. And his family and my family are good friends. I love his kids. got beautiful kids. Anyway, uh, I didn't want to do it. I was very reluctant. But finally, I said, okay. So we, we went to the arena to shoot our thing, and then somebody came and called us if, 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 that if we mind going now to see Vincent. And we went, and we went to this room. And what supposedly I did the most evil thing was that it was said that Vince McMahon has been very kind to the old timers. And I looked right at Vince McMahon, and I said, all due respect, I says, but I think, if anything, you showed nothing but disrespect to the old timers. I said, you've used guys like Dominic Danucci's, Killer Kowalski's, the Albanos, the Fred Blassies, and whoever else. And I says, and you do pay-per-view events and that, and you throw these guys a $1,000, $1,500, throw him a bone. I says, you bring in a guy like Mike Tyson, you give him three and a half million. You bring a guy like Pete Rose and I six figure things. You bring in basketball players what, what, who've contributed less than zero to professional wrestling. I says, yet you give these guys these enormous amounts of money, but those guys who busted their bodies who brought you to the dance, right? Huh? Yeah, who brought you to the dance, so to say. I, yeah, I said, these guys, you, your reward with $1,000, I said, and you tell me that you show respect for the old timers? I said, I, you show nothing but disrespect for the old timers. And I said, now I want you to know something else while I'm here. Remember when they did the documentary in professional wrestling A&E? I said this to Vince. Yes. I said, you know, Vince, I said, that's pretty pathetic. I said, if, if you love the game, which evidently, I don't know whether you do or don't. I, they were doing a whole documentary. I says, I kind of dominated this game for about 20 years. And yet when they did their whole thing, my name was never mentioned in that documentary. I said, not that I give a hoot, I says, because I thought it was a lousy documentary to start off with. I says, but, I said, he said, well, what does that have to do with me? I said, I'll tell you what it had to do with you. I said, after they showed that thing, they got a lot of flack. They said, how could you do a documentary of professional wrestling and leave out the San Martino era? Right. So I said, as a result of it, I said, A&E got a lot of negative reaction from it. And I was contacted by A&E, who wanted to interview me to quiet these people, to do some kind of interview to put on A&E, to, to, to show the fans that you know, they interviewed me or whatever. And I said, you allowed an individual to control you as far as to what the, the, you could see or not see. Because they said that they had no choice, because he wouldn't have uh, what they say, that he wouldn't have given any film clips or anything right. like that. Right. And I said, if you allowed him to do that, I, and I told this to Vince that day, I said, you know, that's how I know that you did this, because they called me. I don't remember, it was a woman, though, I remember that, because uh, it's been a couple years. And I said, and he didn't answer, he didn't deny it after that, or he didn't say it was true or deny it, he didn't do anything. So I said, but you know what I told that lady? I said, that she could take her interview and shove it. Yeah. Yeah. And I hung up on her. So I, 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 as a result of this interview that I had, that I, this conversation I had with, they felt that I still had bitterness in me, and so that uh, they didn't think anything could be worked do out. Do you? Do you still have bitterness in you? But the truth is, you know what? They're under the impression, they paint the picture that I'm a very bitter, and, and this has been said, that I'm a very bitter individual. And they know so little about my life. I'm one of the happiest guys going today, as long as I'm out of the wrestling picture. I was going to say, when the name McMahon comes up, it... You know. Then maybe some, uh, but you know what? I have to say he was very cordial that day. He was very nice, and I shook his hand. He introduced me to his daughter, introduced me to his son-in-law. Did you feel like a hypocrite? I, 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 being there, right next to him, right? Because you always said you never wanted to get in that guy's face again. Yeah. Now wait a minute. I, I'm, yes. I'm a, I, you know, I, I, I think maybe it would have been hypocritical if, if Bruno was involved in one of these horrific angles they're doing with the storyline for who impregnated who when the baby died and all this. You didn't maybe, impregnate. And who had no. sex with a dead girl a dead in a body. coffin? Right, yeah, I, you know, I wasn't going to bring that up in front of you, but that really was horrendous, Katie Vick. I can't believe you. All right. Anyway. Anyway. People so, call me up and tell I me understand. these things because yes. I don't well, want. Well, it. you know, people against the abuse of necrophilia probably called you. They're very upset. So I can understand. Big lobby. Go, right um, go ahead. I, I guess what I'm asking is, and, and this is something I'd like to see too, is is what if this could be put aside, 
and they weren't going to have you involved in current storylines, but they were going to induct you at WrestleMania, maybe not this year or one year, into the WWE Hall of Fame where they're talking right. about putting you in a tuxedo and it's a dinner where you're being honored. And, they're, and then they do the, the, the Bruno San Martino double DVD set and, and they have you talk. If it, if it was not you being involved with the current storylines and it was just about you getting your due and being inducted into the Hall of Fame and about them finally doing the Bruno San Martino DVD, which then they sold and put it on, pay-per-view, would you be willing to work with WWE under those conditions? You know, you never say never. Uh, as far as any wrestling th at all, I guarantee you I would not have anything to do with it as far as going involved in a ring right. thing or this. That I would not. If they talk about the uh, DVD or a uh, uh, video game or something like that, uh, there's a possibility. I won't say to you that I would, but I'm not telling you that I would okay. either because if it doesn't have me involved within the, 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 right, the, the, the operation of the, what's going on in the right. ring, stuff like that, I'd say that, there's, yeah, that that's, could be a possibility. As far as the, uh, the Hall of Fame by itself, it would not interest me the least. If it was a package, maybe it would. But I don't believe you in You need to be in the Hall of Fame for the no. fans, not for your satisfaction. But all the Hall of Fame shows that I have covered at WWE, everybody's like, when are they doing How Bruno do already? Bruno San Martino? And I gotta yeah, say, you as, gotta as, be there. As a fan, even if, even if I'm not watching their current product, one thing I absolutely positively would buy in a heartbeat is, is, is but the, the Bruno San Martino Only story. for McMahon's gains, because in, in reality, what kind of an Hall of Fame is it? Last year, they, in, they inducted Pete Rose to the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Dudley people, is an Hall of Fame. People know the difference. But, why, you know? but who's it going to benefit by me getting You talk about the, the fans. people who love you. But it's you. McMahon who's going to capitalize on it. Yeah, but you know what? A lot. But there are a lot of Italian Americans who, who, who a still... A lot of Jewish Americans, too, okay, who love little them, too. Them, <laughs> members of the tribe, so to speak, who, who would love to see you in the Hall of Fame. And again, even if it wasn't the Hall of Fame, I, I know personally I would want to own the Bruno San Martino DVD where they maybe use some of that documentary footage and they had you telling the same story and, and, they, and, they, and they showed where you hit on, on top of the mountain. And they, Look, and they... I'm not going to tell you that that's an impossibility. Okay. It's very possible. But I would say that they have to make, they have to initiate the move in a proper way, like you said, DVDs and uh, uh, the book or, or whether it's uh, a video game or st stuff like that, uh, and maybe the Hall of Fame would come into it. I would not just do it to, uh, to, to satisfy them or anything like that. It would have to be to where I would be happy with whatever okay. situation occurred. Uh, if, if it doesn't make me feel comfortable or good, I'm not going to do no. it for, for somebody no, else's absolutely. satisfaction. I don't mean to get you upset. Don't hurt me. Hold I on. wish, no. I wish, <laughs> bear hug or backbreaker, I wish we had five days to do this, and I, I, I don't even think we'd have enough time at that point. You are a member of the Wrestle Reunion Hall of Fame. We want to thank you for that. Well, let me just say that, gentlemen, Bill After you and I go back a long, long yes, way. Yes, I do. just hope, I hope you know, I've always had great respect for you, and I will continue to do so because you've always been a very good friend to me. Thank and you. I always appreciated everything you've ever done for me with the magazines and whatever. Thank you so much. As far as this gentleman here, I used to watch him on TV all, all the time. I never knew he was Italian. I mean, his, his family <laughs> never knew Styles. Who ever heard of an Italian name of Styles? I spell Styles S T Y L E S or something like that. Is that the way he spelled? So I never. And then I, I meet him and I find out that not only Italian, but Abruzzese like I am. So for me, it's been a thrill, and I, and I, I enjoyed very much yeah, talking yeah, to both of you guys. The Always, reason I came I, to the Russell Union was because I don't do conventions, was to meet Bruno San Martino. This was an honor for me, and I'm sure you. my family's going to be thrilled and when they. Watch I've always this. loved you professionally and personally. But not, you know, the right way. All right. <laughs> you, oh, you, my I God. Never, you I never liked. I never liked For you. Wrestle Reunion, this is Joey Styles and Bill Apter and the legend, the living legend, the only one. For Wrestle Reunion, we'll see you at the matches.